guys, I'm Batdan16 PS3 and welcome back to episode number 12 of my Gran Turismo 6 Let's Play series. In the last episode, I got bumped out of first place on the last lap of the third race by a Japanese guy on a Honda Prelude, which annoyed me no end. Uh, off camera right afterwards I did go back and get that last star, just because I'm a completionist and I wanted to get it over and done with. Um, in this episode, we are doing the Sunday Kart Junior races. Finally get to go and do some karting. Uh, enjoyed the karting that was in Gran Turismo 5. Um, although, at that point, I didn't have a steering wheel. I was using the controller. Which was... Fun, shall we say. Um, so yeah, haven't actually used a kart with a steering wheel before. So... There's only one way to get over that hurdle, and that's just to go and do it. Go into the Gran Turismo Arena, which is where the coffee break took place, knocking over 300 cones. And let's get this started. Three laps. It's a short track in the shape of a G and a T. Funny enough. It's also the exact outline for the GT Arena logo. What views we got? Let's have steering wheel view. Eh, mount the curb. Looks over the steering wheel, it feels very direct. Almost as if you were driving a real go kart. Whee. Case in point. Hold the power down too much with too much steering lock and you'll slide. Third of six after one lap. And these guys look like they're trying to get away from me. Can't let that happen now, can we? That guy fourth, I think that's the guy that punted me out of the way in the end of the last race. Uh, whoopsie daisy. I think I might have given him a little bit of a love tap, but I didn't feel any force feedback in the steering wheel. It's always good, I suppose. It means I didn't actually make contact with him. Seven tenths behind the guy first, and we've got one lap left to get this done. I'm going to do it here. There, nice and easy. If you don't take your steering lock off almost immediately, you will keep turning in this thing. It's pretty damn realistic. And this is from someone who's only ever been karting twice in his life. Awesome thing about go-karts is there's no gears, so I can't miss any gear changes. Yay! And finished. With a one second lead. Really? One and a half second lead. Wow. AI giving up much? Five thousand eight hundred credits and three stars. So while you're watching this video, I am actually sunning myself in, well, hopefully going to be sunning myself in Tenerife, which is a nice break away from the norm of life, really, you know, work and all that jazz gonna suck next Thursday when I have to come home. Uh, next week's episode is also going to be pre-recorded in a session along with this one and what was the previous episode last week um, because obviously coming back on Thursday I don't know if I'll have the time to get on the PlayStation and record an episode, do the commentary which although is done along with the episode and get it all edited and rendered and published or uploaded and everything before Saturday. So these are all going together in one lump and after, not the next episode, the episode after, I'll be doing them once a week, one at a time, as I mentioned in the last episode. Right, going around the Autumn Ring Mini track, which is the first track from the last series of races, the five minute ones, which I did in a Mitsubishi Lancer and could barely get out of third gear.
Yeah, I do actually need a brake for that one. Just seeing if I could get away with not braking, and it turned out I couldn't. Although my driving line is all wrong for this, I'm sticking way too close to the inside. And that's just the directness of the steering on this go-kart. Those of you that have got headphones in or have got your um, speakers up really loud, you can probably hear my steering wheel working over time, trying to keep this thing going bloody straight. And slipstream on a go-kart, awesome. Brake! Don't hit the guy in front. So obviously second lap out of two, this is all there is on this one because it's quite a long track. Obviously it only takes like 40 seconds to get around it in an Evo. And first lap only took me 54 seconds on a go-kart, so... Shows you how almost similar they are in pace, I guess. You know, 10 second difference or whatever. And a second lead, I know, he just overtook him. And cross the line in 48 seconds. It's so nice to have everyone finish in relative order. Not have to wait forever. 6,000 credits. Just keep building that bank balance and keep owning them stars. That's all I've really got to do. There's only a total distance of one and a half miles. It wasn't actually far. It's a ridiculously small track. Now we move on to Kart Space 2. This track I have not actually done before. It was a downloadable content for Gran Turismo 5 and I didn't get it. So this track is actually going to be quite new to me because I've not done it ever. Looks pretty though. All that neon and shit. Three laps and it's shorter than the uh, last race around the autumn ring. 29 degrees at 10 o'clock at night. Where is this kart track being held? Or is that room temperature inside? Is there even a roof on this thing? Uh, yeah, there's a roof on this thing. So it might just be inside temperature. Go, Stiggy, go! I like how the headlight light is on in the bottom right-hand corner, even though it's a go-kart and it doesn't have headlights. Wow, I am just raping people left and right. Not literally, obviously, that would just be wrong. But whoopsie daisy. Didn't see that braking zone until I hit him. Well, first impressions on the first lap round this track. Relatively easy to overtake and do pretty much anything else, including battle walls like I did there. Assisted by my own incompetence and aggressive nature. Uh, breaking point. Fortunately, that other guy wasn't there for me to batter into it to slow me down. One more lap to go. Try actually using the brake pedal on this thing. Two second gap. I just noticed on the minimap while I was going around that corner that this kart track has a pit lane. Does that mean that there could be an endurance race on this track? Because if so, that would actually be pretty awesome having an endurance kart race. Well, that was made short order of. I did that in about a minute. Minute and a half. So it looks like this is going to be a ridiculously short episode, unfortunately. And then you have to just past 10 minutes but I guess the last one was over 25 so 
it sort of evens out. 250,000 credits. That would go a nice way to buying that bloody Prius i got to buy for the one-mate races later on. Oh, that's going to suck. Don't get me wrong, I love Toyotas. Just not the Prius. It was horrible. So yeah. Three gold trophies. Three stars on each track. And that's... Oh, hang on. Maybe it's not the end of that. What have I got? Half the stars acquired. Lazio Delta HF Integrale Evolution 91. I hope I pronounced that right. I'm not Italian. And there's no black option. Eh, dark blue's close enough, I suppose. Awesome. You get a car for getting half the stars. Which means I'm halfway through all the racing. Yay! Yeah, that's the end of that, unfortunately. That was rather quick. And next episode, I'll be going on to the FF Challenge. Hopefully I, can, I have a good car that will do that for me. Let's just do a quick check on the PP allowance. 550 or less. What cars could I use? Any of those. Alright, awesome. That is for the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.